surprised if LCOP comes in with a Hog Rider ban and put Benzer Rydell in a tough situation. We know he has Mortar. We've seen Benzer Rydell also play the Miner. So, yeah, I he played him pretty comfortably against Legend. Yeah, I think if you are LCOP, you have to ban the Hog Rider. Get it away. You've seen him play it. Oh, he's only played what? Nine games right now, and, and I would say at least seven or eight have been a Hog Rider. But no, he bans the Miner, his second option. Uh, there's going to be no Royal Hogs, there's going to be no Miner. And now LCOP knows that Ben Zerydel's only real option that he's played so far. I mean, maybe he can switch up decks and everything like that, but he's probably going to know there's going to be a lot of Hog Riders coming at him in this matchup. I think that means he's going to have a lot of Tombstones, maybe a lot of Zappies variants. He could be running, you know, the three Musketeers. You know, he could be controlling the pace, knowing that there is going to be a Hog Rider. There is no Royal Hogs. So maybe he might say, you know what? No Valkyrie. I'm going to throw in a Lumberjack. I might even throw in a, a Golem deck with, you know, a building in it. You know what I mean? Maybe even Golem, maybe even throw in a Tombstone as well, just for the Hog Rider, you know? Play a little sneaky, play a little tricky. There's a lot of options that he can do if he's looking at Benzer Rydell and saying, listen, he's going to play a hog versus me, then I have to be ready for that. But on the other side, you got Benzer Rydell. He doesn't necessarily need to play a hog here now, does he? No, he doesn't. I, honestly, if I'm Elsiop in this situation, I think I run Pekka. Because if Benzer Rydell decides to go crazy and have a beatdown, or he's playing his hog, Pekka's going to be a really good counter with Royal Hogs banned. Pekka's pretty safe. Absolutely, and we are going to get right into this first matchup as the crowd is going wild. This is for the gold. Elsia, Ben Zerideel, People's Republic of China versus Indonesia. Here we go, Valkyrie in the back from Benzer, Cannon Cart coming down from Elsia. Flying Machine coming in as well. Fireball connects, doesn't hit the Valkyrie, but the cannon cart would have gone down anyways, so I think that's okay for LCO. Yeah, it's an even trade right now. They're both going to wait and get back to full elixir really before they play anything. And there's a tombstone from Benson Rider. There's going to be a zap coming out from LCO. Kind of just the cycle here, kind of seeing what each player has. And a log is going to come in, taking out the ice. Yeah, we hear the crowd chanting, Indonesia, the home. Town advantage. It looks like Benzer Rydell is going to run that Hog Rider. Yeah, here comes a Hog Rider on the right hand side, and a Lumberjack is coming out and is going to swing down. So it looks like there could be a maybe goal of deck. And here comes the Lumberjack right to the tower. One, two shots on to the tower. Rage kind of useless here, but does the damage. Yeah, the Lumberjack gets through. So there's a couple options that we can see for LC Op. It's either Golem or it's going to be a giant Night Witch. Yeah, and with a minute and 20 seconds left in this game, and a Tombstone's down, no here musky. comes the Musky, and the Musky is going to be able to clear out the Tombstone, and that's going to be very big if he has a giant or a Golem. Going to open up a lot of advantages right now with a minute left into the game and a counterattack that could be brewing. Yeah, here comes the Lumberjack. Log is going to knock it back, and no counterattack from Elsiop. He's going to play patiently. That's been working very well for him. Fireball oh, doesn't fire connect to the Flying Machine. Ah, no, as the Flying Machine is going to go on the counterattack, it is a giant, but what a crucial miss right there. He would have loved to play the giant a little bit further back. Musketeer going to lock on to the Mega Minion, do a ton of damage there. The Log and the Mega Minion trying to just stop this Hog Rider from doing too much damage. The giant going out over here, punching down the Tombstone, but it's not going to get much. No, Ice Spirit doesn't connect to that Mega Min, so the Ice Spirit's going to connect to the tower here. Log's going to come through giant on the left-hand side. Here comes the Hog Rider. Might see a Lumberjack coming down. Yeah, there. And, and this might be an overcommitment with this Hog Rider, because look at how massive this push is on the counterattack full. Does he fireball this Tombstone? That's the question. No, but he does have the Log out and the Lumberjack taking care of it. This Rage is going to be huge as the Musketeer is going to be trying to take it down, but now there's no Tombstone. Yep, Mega Minion locks onto the tower for a lot of damage. The second Cannon Card comes in. Musketeer, Cannon Card onto the tower. Fireball comes in. LCOP takes game number one.
What a phenomenal play right there from Elfiab. Out rotating Benzer Rydell. And the moment he played that hog, I looked at you and I said, over commitment there. You cannot throw a hog rider into an already played goal, uh, an already played giant and a cannon card. Cannon card, the moment that gets taken out, the lumberjack came in on the back end. Then he had to poison as well. Way too much. That's an eight elixir commitment on offense when he had the kitchen sink being thrown at him. And just as you saw, Elsiop just threw everything during game number two and he did the giant cannon card and now I think he might even venture off into a, a maybe a golem now you know what I mean maybe mix up maybe go even a little bit heavier because what I think Benzer Rydell is going to do is, is he's going to say listen hog rider might not work he might have a counter for my hog rider I'm going to have to venture into something different and if you're LC out and you know a hog rider is not going to be coming go heavier you know you're not going to be too worried about a quick threat like a hog rider coming in but there's going to be a tombstone for both players yeah this is looking very interesting benzer right out could be sticking with the same deck minions come down this makes me think lava loon but Elsiop coming in with the poison. Could we be seeing Graveyard for the first time since round two? Well, maybe, but oh, there's a cannon card on the right hand side. Skeletons are going to get taken out from uh, the Valkyrie, but the Lava Hound is going to be a pretty big problem here. Let's see what he has to answer it. There is going to be an Ice Wizard, and it looks like we are going to see a Graveyard coming out from Elsiop. Yep, Fireball comes in for that Ice Wizard. Benzer Rydell about to get the zap. Ice Golem comes down. He might zap this Ice Wizard away. And there it goes. Tornado coming through. The pups take no damage from the Tornado. But the pups will connect to the tower for a little bit of chip damage. In Benzer right now, yeah. off to a pretty decent start. Yeah, off to a pretty decent start right here. But if Elsiop is able to get a good cycle down, this Lava Hound might not be able to reach the tower again. He knows exactly what he's going against. And now he needs to just get himself into a good rotation, into a good cycle, and really pressure. But once again, a Valkyrie at the bridge is going to shut down this cannon card. Once again, Lava Hound is going to go right over to the cannon car, clean it up. And this is actually very bad for Elsiop because the Lava Hound is staying on the other side of the bridge for much longer, which allows Benzer Rydell to gain Elixir and be able to get this nice push that you want. You want to be able to gain as much Elixir as you can and then put it behind the Lava Hound. And the longer it stays on your side of the arena, the better it is for you. Yeah, the Tornado is going to pull the Lava Hound back once again. No damage being dealt to the pups. Here comes the Balloon with the Mega Minion tank. And the Lava Pups are going to dish out some damage. Tombstone going to pull the Balloon. Ice Wizard comes down right here. Fireball is going to come in if Benzer Oh, Rydell he misses the oh. Ice Wizard. A huge mistake from Benzer Rydell. That means no Tornado has to be played. And so much Elixir can get saved. And here comes the Graveyard on offense from Elsia. He's going to be going on the offense of Mega Minion. Not going to be enough. Great Tornado here. Ice Wizard putting in overtime. Just slowing everything down. And the Poison as well. Oh, Cannon Cart gets close enough to the tower. Locks on for two shots. Minion's going to come through here. Ice Golem is forced to come down from Elsiop to defend. And Mega Min is coming through in the back, but Elsiop has 838 remaining on his tower. Here comes the Graveyard push with the Ice Golem. Cannon Cart not in cycle, but the Valkyrie is played preemptively. The Graveyard's getting a ton of damage on the backhand side. Yes, so much damage coming out from this Graveyard. And that was a lot of Elixir that had to be used on defense there. This Tornado might be able to shut down everything. The Fireball comes in, hits the Ice Wizard this time. And this is going to be a huge push. Can Elsiop take the tower right here on this push? That is the question. Lava now being offensively played right at the bridge. And Elsiop needs to find a way to stop this Lava Hound and Balloon. Oh, the poison is going to be huge here. LCOP's going to get a tornado ready to go to destroy these pups. Fireball down onto the Ice Wizard. Balloon is not going to get the death damage onto the tower, but with the tower below 400, it's dangerously close to spell cycle range. And here comes a graveyard. Yeah, here comes a huge graveyard right now. He's got to get down a poison, but he just doesn't have it yet. Here it is. Is it going to be able to get there in a time? The damage coming in from the skeletons, but just not enough. Nope, 475. Oh, the Lava Hound comes down in front. 
Look at that Ice Wizard placement, not in range for the Fireball, but this Lava Hound is getting dangerously close, but that is a huge Fireball value. Here comes the Graveyard on the right-hand side. Oh, he's going for the win right now. Graveyard Poison on the right-hand side. He could easily Tornado his right to take it away. Who is going to be able to win this game? A Skeleton takes it home, and just like that, LC up is going to take game number two. That was a huge graveyard push right there. The Lava Hound is in, the Mega Minions behind, the Valkyrie is forced to come down with the Fireball going onto the Ice Wizard, going onto the Tombstone. There is absolutely nothing else Benzer Rydell could have done in that situation. No, her Real for esports, for Clash Royale, for China, for Indonesia. This is, this is great right now. So, 2 0, LC Op is up. Benzer Rydell back against the wall in this first best of five. Can he come back and win this? I think he can. I mean, he has defeated LC Op before. Yeah, he had, he's the only one who's taken down LC Op already in the competition today. And, you know, it's one of those situations where, you know, you just got to go back to that. You got to go back to, you know, eight, nine hours ago now where you were able to take him down and you need to go back to that tape and you need to be like, listen, I've done this already. I can beat him. You know what I mean? And channel it back. You know, he's the one that hasn't really been able to play for a little bit because it'll be a little bit rusty because there has been such a long loser's bracket run that LC Op had to go through to get to this point. Yeah, I mean, he had the longest run Today, like you said, he lost in the first round, so he immediately goes down to the first round of the lower bracket. He plays AM from Laos. He plays Aaron from Hong Kong. He plays Jin from India. He plays Legend from Vietnam. He has played everybody in this competition that made it past the first round. Right, so we just got word that the internet Wi-Fi issues were a problem. So it's going to restart, the game will restart, and we're going to see who is going to come out on that third game on top. Who, man, they can repick the decks, no problem as far as that's concerned. And I mean, do you go with a Hog Rider if you are, you know, uh, Benzer Rydell? In this situation, I feel like I feel like LC Op is expecting a Hog Rider. So if you're Benzer Rydell, maybe you switch something up. You don't have Rohawks, you don't have Miner. Maybe you can play some sort of control-esque deck if he's comfortable with maybe Magic Archer Bridge Spam. You can bring that in. If he's comfortable with Three Musketeers, maybe you can bring that in. There are a couple options that he has, but it's just dependent on what he's most comfortable with and what he can and what he thinks LC Op is gonna play in this matchup. Yeah, I think he's got here running Hog Rider, running Mortar, and I think he's gonna stick to his guns in that regards where I think he's going to continue to just run what you did. You know what I mean? At this point, you run what you're familiar with, you run what you know, and, and roll the dice that way. You know, that way you take out the element of, you know, misplays and everything like that. You put it in your court and you say, listen, I'm gonna run with the best that I have. I'm gonna put it out there. And if I win, I win. If I lose, we're going to be going to another best of five. And then I got to go back to the drawing board and get ready to go. But here we go. Game number three coming out now. Skeleton cycling in the back. And there's the Hog Rider coming down. LC Op with that Lumberjack coming through. Hog doesn't get a shot onto the tower. Lumberjack pushing the right hand lane. Musketeer pushing the left hand lane. Spencer right now running Hog 2.6. Uh, he might be running Hog 2.6, and this might be the giant Lumberjack deck that we saw earlier in game number one from LCO. Yeah, so the Hunter coming down, so maybe Benzer Rydell is running Hog 3M. Three Musketeers. There is a possibility. This, this is the Hog 3 Musketeer variant deck with the Ice Spirits and the Ice Golem. You know, that, that quick cycle uh, three musky deck, and there it is. So it's going to be three Musketeers versus is Giant. Is LC Ops big spell Fireball or Poison? If it's Fireball, it benefits him better. If it's Poison, then...
Benzer right now might be in a good situation, but this is a lot of pressure on the right-hand side. It looks like this tower is going to fall. The Hog is coming through on the left. The Lumberjack, the Cannon Cart, the Giant, the tower falls. Yeah, and this might be a three crown right here. The Lumberjack is going to rage up the Cannon Cart, and this Cannon Cart is going to be going for the tower. Skeletons on the back are going to get zapped down, and the Cannon Cart is just going off on the King Tower. Brings that down to triple digits, 747. Musketeer comes in aggressively. Musketeer is going to lock on the Ice Golem's not going to knock it back far enough. The Muskie locks on for the last shot. There's the poison. A Zap can come in. A Log can come in. There it is. LC up takes the first. That's the five. Just like that, 3-0. LCOP and the People's Republic of China are now going to go to a grand final to determine it all. This next best of five will determine who will be going home with the gold and who will be going home with the silver. If you're LCOP, you're feeling extremely confident right now. You just beat the person who took you down in the first round, three to zero. If you're Benzer right now, your back is against the wall. You are caught. You're thinking, what can I do right now? Match of the stream against Aaron. He banned Tornado and it just worked so well for him. Aaron is such a dominant player. And if you ban Tornado and beat Aaron that in that fashion, you have to think that works for you. Uh, well, he must have something up his sleeve if he is going to be banning the Oil hogs, but we have a fireball coming down on a pump. Elsia might be running a golem here to start this off. Golem or three musketeers. Zappy's coming in on the back for Elsia up. Here's the tombstone from Benzer right now. You have to think he's going with this hog rider deck. Yeah, it could be. Here comes a royal ghost on the left hand side here. And three musketeers. And they are right in the middle of the arena. Royal Ghost taking care of the skeletons of the flying machine. And minions coming down. Valkyrie on the left hand side onto those two musketeers. Benzer right now bringing out the Lava Loon here. Yes, yeah, so much damage coming in from that Royal Ghost. Doing a little bit of damage here. But here comes a balloon on the left hand lane. There's going to be a battle ram on the left hand side. Is this going to be a tower trade? No, a tombstone comes down. And this is a very big problem from Elseop right now is he might lose this entire left side tower. There it goes. A minute 45 remains and Benzer Rydell takes the first tower. Wow. Second best of five. Just like that, he just gets out of cycle and loses an entire tower. Royal Ghost once again being played on the left hand side. A fireball coming in to take care of the pump. Minions are going to shut down this Royal Ghost and just like that, Benzer Rydell in a very good position. Yeah, LCOP has to split push properly for this last minute and 10 seconds. If he doesn't split push to perfection, he will drop this first game. Yeah, I mean, he does have three Musketeers that are going to be cycled at the bridge right now. It is going to be double elixir time, so let's see if this push right here gets a lot of value. Bataram coming out on the left-hand side here. And he's going to play this very, very slow. Three Musketeers split in the back. Are we going to see a fireball on the right-hand side? Minions come down on the left. Lava Hound tanking one of these Zappies. And Benzer right now, Michael. Oh, he goes in the back on the left-hand side. So you have to assume Mega Minion and maybe Balloon will come on this right-hand side. There it is. Zappies coming through. This could be the push to take down the second tower. Ice Golem coming down. Lava Pups are able to take down this Musketeer. Tower is locked on, but the Balloon's going to get a shot on the right-hand side, and this tower is looking very low. Yeah, it's looking like it is going to crumble right here, and a Mega Minion on the left-hand side. Even if this tower does fall, I mean, he is still in a very, very bad position, but here it comes. He's going really hard on the right-hand side. Fireball coming in on the right. Four seconds left to be able to get down the tower. Is it going to be in time? No! no. Just like that, Benzer Rydell is going to steal game number one, and Elsiop throwing out three Musketeers early, not being able to really cycle and stop that balloon, cost him that game. And that's one of the situations where if you throw out a huge wing condition that early, you pay the price, and that is how you win a game. Beautifully played right there from Benzer Rydell, and two new decks that these two people are really bringing in for this second best of three. I mean, Lava Hound, uh, I believe that's the first. LCOP could be in trouble. 
Yeah, so here we go. Looks like the players are ready to go for game number two. Royal Hog fan, Miner is banned. Elsiop versus Benzer Rydell, game two. All right, as a calm enters over the arena, 10 Elixir. The crowd cheering for their nation's representatives. Looks like both players might sit on the elixir here. Maybe both beat down. It could be. I mean, it could be some giant. No, Tombstone coming down from Benzer Rydell. Expo out here from Elsiop. Wow. You, you have to wonder if Benzer Rydell is running Lava Moon again. If he is, this is a great matchup for Elsiop. Yeah, I mean, this is a very great matchup in Expo. Not seen very much in this new meta. And as we see, Skeletons put in the back and a Mega Minion. So it's got a quick cycle Expo deck, and it's going to be very interesting to see. And there it is, a Lava Hound on the right-hand side for Benzo Rydell. Yeah, if you're LC up in this situation, you are very pleased with your deck choice. And he's running Ice Wizard as well. So there's a couple options for the spell that LC off has. He either has Rocket or he has Fireball. And here it is, the Ice Wizard just doing great work versus the Lava Hound. He's going to be very, very controlly. You know, first, I guess you could say, well, for, I guess in the 35 seconds of this game, then it's really going to start kicking off. Yeah, Elsiop also should have a Tornado. This deck list typically runs Tornado, so he should be okay from this Balloon right here. He has the Ice Wizard down. The tornado is going to be coming through right here, and this Balloon will get the death damage onto the tower, but it's not going to get the connection shot that it needed. Just a little bit right there. Ice Wizard going to its death on the right-hand side, and here's the thing. An X-Book could be placed on the left-hand side, forcing Benzo Rydell to go that way. Yep, Tombstone comes down there, making sure there is no Expo push just yet. But Elsiop is able to get that Expo down, and defensively he can reposition the Lava Hound and the Balloon to go towards that Expo, even if it's not close enough for the Balloon to pull. Here it is right now. There's going to be a Ice Wizard on the right-hand side, just slowing it down. Ice Balloon for protection here. And oh no, the Fireball connects with both! Oh, he misplayed an Expo on the left-hand side. If Benzo Rydell knew it, he just plays a Mega Minion on that. Doesn't go in with, for the pressure. Tornado is not enough. The Balloon's going to be able to connect here onto the right-hand side. 389. The Balloon is healthy. It's going to drop again, and the tower falls. Just like that one huge misplay from Elsiop, and there goes his tower. Benzo Rydell and Indonesia are one game away from the goal. Beautifully played right there, and Elsie, I just can't believe it. No, he is sitting there trying to think what went wrong. The Expo came down just one tile too far to the right. And Benzo Rydell saw it. He didn't overcommit on the left-hand side. He could have dropped a Valkyrie. He could have dropped the Balloon on the left-hand side. but. He that Elsiop is so fatigued. He has played so many matches up until up until this point. He has played the most amount of matches you possibly can in terms of in terms of sets. He hasn't played all the games in the sets, but he has played the most possible sets to this point. Absolutely, and here we go. Elsiop, Benzer Rydell, game number three. Benzer Rydell coming out with a furnace. Yeah, and here's the cannon cart from Elsiop. He might be running with this cannon cart graveyard deck. Zap's going to come in here. Cannon cart just out of range of that tower to start. Here comes the Goblin Gang. Going to take care of the cannon cart, but the furnace is looking a little grim. It looks like he's got a Musketeer as well here. So cannon cart, Musketeer to start this off. Maybe he went back to that giant cannon cart deck that worked so well for him in the first game of uh, the first best of five. Well, we see a Dark Goblin deck once again being played from Benzo Rydell here. There's no poison on it, but oh wow, he logs nothing. And let's see if there is a Giant, and here it is. Giant with a Mega Minion, and there's going to be a ton of pressure on the left-hand side. Yeah, here comes the Lumberjack as well. Zap's going to roll in. Valkyrie comes down. The Giant is going to fall here. Valkyrie gets some damage onto the Lumberjack. Here comes the Log to roll through this Mega Minion. Might get a few connection shots onto the tower. One. Two shots in. 
two shots with that raged Mega Minion. That's a little bit of damage, but I think he wanted a little bit more with how much he committed there. But the Elixir almost even. Uh, not too big of a difference here. And here comes a Hog Rider on the right-hand lane. Cannon Car coming down. Hog Rider is going to be able to get off two shots on this tower. Yeah, Cannon Cart is just going to be left alone. Log comes down and knock that back. Here come the Bats as well. Cannon Cart will lock onto the tower for three, two shots. And the Bats will get cleaned out here. LC Op looking to build up a pretty decent push. Yeah, he's got this giant all the way in the back, slowly rolling as there's going to be a furnace down from Benza Rydell. Fire Spirits slowly going into the left-hand side tower, and it's a little bit of damage, but it adds up very, very quickly. Yeah, here comes the Goblin Gang. Musketeer played in the middle. Logs have come through for the gang. Poison comes through, but the Musketeer is going to go to the left-hand side and avoid that poison. Dark Goblin is going to get taken out here from the Musketeer, and that is a pretty big interaction. Here comes the Cannon Card on the right-hand side. Elsiop now with double elixir. He's going to push his advantage, and he's going to spam this bridge. He needs to put down this log immediately to take care of the Goblin Gang. No, he's going to Fireball instead. The Bat's doing a ton of work oh, here. The, the Cannon Card's going to lock zap. onto the tower. What a clutch zap. The log comes through, but it's not going to knock the Cannon Card back. Mega Minion does get taken down. 9.45 remains on that top right-hand side. Here comes the Hog. Rider defended by the Lumberjack on the left. Yeah, here comes a huge push. There is going to be a Goblin Gang as well, but the Musketeer is going to easily be able to clean this up. Mega Minion as well defending that tower pretty nicely. Bats are just going to be taken out from this Mega Minion, and the Cannon Cart going to do the rest to the Fire Spirits. The cycle from Elsiop is starting to go very, 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 very fast, and there is going to be another Hog Rider push on the left hand side. Yeah, Lumberjack will come down to defend. Hog is getting caught up onto the giant. Lumberjack should be able to take down the Hog just in time, and it does. Fire Spirit's going to slowly chip away at this giant. Goblin Gang's going to come out. Lumberjack is targeted by the Spear Goblins, and it's not going to go down just yet. It survives with a sliver of HP. Here comes a raged Mega Minion to defend, but it gets taken down by the Dark Goblin. Yeah, Cannon Card and Musketeer on the left hand side here. Is the Cannon Card going to get the Oh, but it will before it gets to the tower. No, it does! It gets to the tower. The zap not going to be enough, and that's going to be three cannons on to the left-hand side tower. Yep, 798 remains on that left-hand side tower of Elsiop. We are in overtime, so the first tower to go down, the other will be the victor. Here comes the poison down the Goblin Gang to defend. Here comes a fireball. Giant's going to get one punch. The Lumberjack's going to roll through. The Lumberjack is on! Oh! It's going to get taken wow. down by the Valk, but the Giant will fall at the same time, and you have to expect a Hog Rider coming in from Benza Rydell right here with this Valkyrie. Yeah, here it is. Lumberjack and Cannon Cart just aren't going to kill it fast enough. The Log comes out as well. Beautiful Log just defending his tower. Log takes down the Hog Rider, takes down the Dark Goblin. Lumberjack gets one swing on the left-hand side. Furnace comes down. LC up building up a Giant push. Yeah, building up a huge giant push here. Mega Man is going to do work. He's got to log back this. Hog Rider. Oh my goodness. The Hog Rider gets off a shot. And this has got to be the push for LC up if he wants to win this game. Yeah, Log Poison is going to put this in one more poison range. The Cannon Card does get de wheeled right here. Here comes the Lumberjack, the Musketeer in the back to support. Lumberjack is going to go to the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie is going to take it down. The Dark Goblin looking mighty fine on this defense. Musketeer raged up. Here comes the poison. The Musketeer is on the left-hand side. The log's going to come through. The Cannon Card Fireball. Benza Rydell takes the gold medal for Indonesia. Beautifully played right there for Ben Zer Rydell. And Indonesia is going to be walking away with the gold medal. What a fantastic series we had. LC Op come in down with two best of fives to win. He takes the first best of five, 3 0, and then drops the second best of five, 3 0, to the gold medalist, Benzer Rydell. Yeah, amazing gameplay right there. And just LC Op was not able to really stop the Hogs in a good way. I mean, he didn't have a building or a tornado to be able to stop that Hog Rider just coming in, just getting one shot here. One shot there. He had to throw out a log, throw out a zap, throw out a cannon card. Things that he did not want to do because he needed them with his giant 
beautifully played right there from Benson Rydell, and he is going to be the champion. I mean, if you look at the defense that Elsioff had to play for the Hog, like you said, the Canna Car comes down, the Lumberjack comes down, the Log comes down. You're talking about 11 Elixir to defend a 4 Elixir card. Yeah, and that adds up, and just like that, no tornadoes, no real way of defending Hog Rider, and it just comes in and takes it home. Yeah, that is, that is going to do it. Indonesia. I'm the fan,